Well, good morning to you all. Supreme Court Judge Mohammed Ibrahim has successfully appealed to the vetting board and has had his removal from the judiciary reversed. Justice Ibrahim had sought a review from the board's earlier decision that declared him unsuitable to serve in the country's highest court. Just concerned about possible bias, cannot idly sit by, do not do no investigation, raise no objection at the interview, and only claim bias after being found unsuitable. It is important too to place on record that members of the board are aware of the need to be impartial and demonstrate impartiality at all times. Thus, members, including the member who voluntarily disqualified herself in a manner in a number of matters. Justice Ibrahim had sought a review from the board's earlier decision that declared him unsuitable to serve in the country's highest court. The board unanimously agreed to give Ibrahim another opportunity to face the fresh vetting. Board Chairman Charad Rao says a panel will be constituted to vet Justice Ibrahim afresh. Justice Roslyn Nambuye, who had also been shown the door, was also successful in her review and will face fresh vetting. Three Court of Appeal judges David Maraga, Kalpana Rawal, and Martha Kome were also found fit to serve in the courts. In the circumstances, there being no clear majority in favor of either suitability or unsuitability, the board agreed that the judge was entitled to continue to serve. There was consensus that the judge should, however, be reminded that in a commendable zeal to provide practical and fair solutions, she should always be aware of the danger of undervaluing the importance of maintaining legal rigor and providing sufficient documentation of each and every step taken in the process. However, Justices Jean Gasheshe and Joy Kaminwa were not so lucky and have been found unsuitable to serve in the judiciary. Counsel argued that the board had committed an error by sitting as a court of appeal. In support of this argument, counsel cited the guiding principle of judicial independence and cited comparative law to say that the board should not act as a conveyor belt. The decision was recorded as being eight to one in favor of unsuitability.